Tension ran high at Handys Bay when some community members took to the streets in protest over a delay in land allocation. The group's leaders claimed that municipality has allegedly refused to work with a housing committee on the land allocation at the town. This is even though this committee has better knowledge of what the real needy people are of Handys Bay, as they are also living among them. There are people who lost all their belongings in shack fires, domestic workers and others, yet they are not included in the final list published by the Handyspy municipality. This final list is in fact having names of people who have been dead long ago. Then long than three years. People that are not residents as well as people that cannot be, are not be classified as low income. The group in the petition also expressed concern over the lack of jobs available for young people at the coastal town. Unfair appointment of temporary and all general workers by the Handyspy municipality does not consider the unemployment youth from the town who are coming from poor backgrounds and even from households that have suspended water and electricity services. The Handyspy municipality would rather output the employee, people from outside the town and their families. The Handys Bay Mayor, Louise Fermak, received the petition. We gave out urban, 100 and something urban. We gave it out to the people, low cost service plots. So we try our best to bring in investors also. There's a few investors coming. There's a hospital coming with one of the investors. There's also a hospital coming. So there's a lot of things we're busy with. There's a lot of job creation that we are busy with from investors that's coming in that want to open certain factories and certain things in town. Unfortunately, we cannot always speak about everything that's happening until the people is on board, the investors is on board. Fermak said the council will discuss the petition next week.